Galvin already has enough troubles clearing his own jungle. So there could still be that crazy level two from Umti, but seems like Longju had the here. Slow comes through, Prey will get popped up. Exhaust comes down, pops out the heal, will flash away. Flash forward from Snowflower as he pursues in, gets the devour, and that should be first blood. There we go, hands over to Teddy, who has a headshot ready to go. And Umti is just gonna go ahead and flash in, but Ixu's gonna pursue. Gonna drop the rope, plus the charge comes through. Throws out the explosive cast, knocking away Kuzan. Nice little mic throw play, but Cataclysm over the wall will lock in the Gragas. Body slam, buying some time. MT, one more Very shot, close. not quite gonna kill him. He does have the potions rolling uh, up. Yep, flag comes down. They know that he's down. They down. jump in onto him. That's gonna be BDD over the wall. Has the tether coming through. Cataclysm comes out, but it's just not enough damage. He goes down. Gorilla picking up the kill. Yeah, Umti comes through, knocks him off the Scarl. BDD is roaming his way in, dashes forward, gets right on top of him, and he will go down. Kill picked up for the LeBlanc. Finds a tether over the wall, but no real way of pursuing forward, but still. Long. There. Tom Kench, great as we scale into the late game, but the double range oh. is in booting advantage, cuz. Yeah, so we go ahead, throws out the void spikes to pop that shield from the Banshee's Veil. Unleashed power comes through. Kuzan flashes to the side, gets the stun. Can he come up with a solo kill? Leap and flash away comes through from the Kha'Zix, picking himself out safely. A body slam over the wall from Khan. Picks up the kill. Close call for Cuz, but Khan is there to pick up the pieces. Now the Lash comes down, trying to lock up this Gragas. Everyone piling forward. The traps come down, but it's not going to walk into that one. And now Longju, can they turn this one around? They knock Ixu straight off of Skarl again. And now BD joins the fray, dashes forward, finds the kill, taking him down yet again. This time there was no synergy Four between. It's a flash right out of Kuzan immediately. Now Gorilla going to get jumped on as Ixu goes in for that charge. Cataclysm comes down. Cuz has to flash over the wall. Khan going dangerously low as well. Starts to kite back, but there's still plenty of damage. Engage. Massive body slam from Khan with the flash. Helps come up with the kill onto Kuzan. And now BDD going straight into the back line. Helps take down Snowflower. That's going to be Ixu locked in, taken out. Three kills coming through. Make it four as Umti will be the only one limping away from this fight. Longju just blow open the game, pick up the drink. The replay will show you that Longju's team fight again, something we haven't had the pleasure of examining. Oh, now tier. Umti still gonna go down. BDD walking down to that mid lane just to try to stop him from entering into the pad. Attack damage on that gun blade. Yeah. Yeah. Khan, well, he's uh, very far forward by himself. Gonna be taken low, probably taken out as the sun will come through. Ash Arrow there. Try to answer, but he'll just get spat out and Snowflower comes up with a kill. He thought he was going to do his best Fiora, then realized he was playing. Bit of an odd spot. I mean, Longju just playing a structure game. That's three tiles at four instant. Oh, Here we go. that's going to be Explosive Cask, and that's Kuzan going down right off the bat. Now, Umpty tries to get the flag and drag through. Can't complete the combo. As the Dragon Strike won't even have the opportunity to get cast. He goes down. The Bower yet again in on Nikon. He will die, but he's pretty much just a sacrificial lamb for Longju's success. Gorilla goes down to the back side of the fight as Ixu is able to take him out, but now he's in no man's land. He'll suffer. For that kill, four members. Aaron, miss the Ash Arrow, but they're gonna get at least a kill on Snowflower. And Snowflower is, uh, inting, I guess. <laughs> He's <laughs> buying time. Yep. And BDD doesn't even have to be there to help protect Double the Double mountain, right? Yeah, he just keeps things going. Double mountain, as you say, helps shred to the Baron. Long shoot pickup. Wave crashing. Should be able to get it now. Charge gonna come out from Ixu. Gets knocked away immediately by the explosive cast. The power comes through from Snowflower, trying to keep Kuzan alive. He'll be able to do so, and Teddy finishes off Gorilla. In the back of the fight, BDD going golden with Azonius, keeps himself safe. A bit more vulnerable with this LeBlanc as the waves start crashing in. They try to get in onto the turrets, can't quite find it. Body slam, cast comes through, devours there from Snowflower to keep Kuzan alive. Now Cataclysm comes down, Gorilla going low as they try to stay alive. Teddy comes up the first kill. That's going to be Umti going down, Longju trying to kite back, but finishing off at the same time is Ixu. Double kill over to Kai's. Two for two, though, overall. So it's a 3v3. Prey is low. They're respecting Jinnah. Re they want to overstay on this one. Prey firing away. Has the volley ready to go. Almost finishes off Snowflower. Can't quite get him. Kuzan is still alive. Doesn't have the ultimate, however, so Prey is not that concerned. Now three super creeps. In Flash the it in. Flashes forward straight into Teddy's face. Finishes him off with a volley. Tanking up the turret. Not even concerned. Will be able to kill that in time. Kuzan almost goes down again, spat out into the fountain, will stay alive, but that's going to be the Nexus going down. A bit longer from what you might have anticipated, but 41 minutes on the clock. Longju looking strong in game number one. And while it wasn't quite a capper on his 300th game and his 299th LCK game,